Hi guys, it is Angela from Ellicate Designs. I'm here to share a custom journal with you all today. Um, I was contacted by a lovely lady and she wanted me to make her a couple of custom journals. She had seen one of my previous Christmas ones and uh, that one was already sold so we made her a new one and we collaborated on some ideas. Um, and this is what it turned into. Uh, she really loved this Santa image, so I made the cover similar to the one that she had seen or saw. Sorry, bad grammar. Um, <laughs> it's early. I'm still drinking coffee and trying to wake up. Uh, so the cover is constructed of some corrugated cardboard that I've reinforced with some chipboard. I didn't have a book that was the right size. So this is her journal. And it became quite, quite chunky. Excuse me. Um, the original journal I had used the Christmas list kit from Tsunami Rose. So I used a lot of those images in here as well as her big elements and I used some Ephemeris Vintage Garden from her Days of December kit. And um, I think that's it. There might be some other, other things in here as well but that's the majority of it. So the the front cover this here is a pocket. I just don't have anything in it right now. The original journal I had constructed doing these kind of flip outs with mini signatures. So it's a combination of this style as well as just like traditional uh, signatures. So in this front pocket here, I just have a little tag that I stamped and <clears throat> this is one of the Tsunami Rose little envelopes that is empty so she can put some goodies in there. And then it folds open and it has another pocket uh, with a tag. I did use some various uh, Christmas paper pads from my stash in here. And then these are all pages from journal for journaling. And I did quite a bit of stamping throughout this journal as well. Um, and this here is a bag and it has a tag inside as well as a tag in the back. It's kind of a snug fit. Uh, these tags I created and they're sprinkled throughout the journal and they have stamping on them. And then the tops of them are just uh, some muslin that I lightly stamped with some script stamp and those have been stapled on. For the bag, uh, I've been seeing a lot of people playing with decoupaging napkins and I didn't have any Christmas napkins. So what I did is I printed some of the kit's images on this it's old typing paper that has been around for ages in, in my house. And it's a very, very lightweight. It's not as light as, say, like tracing paper, but it um, is slightly transparent. So I printed on those and then decoupaged those on top of the paper bags and glassine bags in this journal and sewed around them. There's a lot of sewing in this journal. And then um, behind this image here is uh, just a, a journaling card or a photo mat. And everything's either been coffee stained or inked. And then it folds over this way and it has another journaling card or photo mat. So I've got a belly band with a couple of images here and more pages for journaling and so on. I have an altered paper clip 
with one of the Christmas tickets from Tsunami Rose and just a little flower and some uh, coffee stained cheesecloth. Oh yes, I've also used some Christmas images from the Graphics Fairy in here as well. And I did some ruffle, sewn ruffle trim with some sari silk. Uh, another belly band with another Santa image. And this is also another jeweling card journal tag. Another belly band and it has some Christmas ephemera and journaling cards and another tag behind it. A large pocket. One of the Tsunami Rose Big Elements uh, journaling cards here and uh, the Christmas tree music. Um, it's just a journaling card. Got another ticket here and a little bow. There's lots of journaling in here, lots of journal cards. I'm not gonna pull them out because this would take forever. I have a large envelope that's been coffee stained and behind this image is a little pocket. I've got a tag up here. On this side is another journaling card. This is a little Christmas airmail, and that's from Ephemera's Vintage Garden. There's just some cheesecloth behind it. A large pocket with a couple of journal cards or photo mats. Again, this is from the kit. Uh, this is a large red envelope that I have a tag inside and a card behind this Christmas Santa image. So there's lots of pockets, lots of little tuck spaces. And the back of it I left plain because you can either journal on it or she can add a photo, whatever she would like. This is just a large envelope that's been sewn all the way around. And that is um, currently empty. Uh, another red envelope with another Santa image and some more tags. Um, this is one of the um, pages from the kit I just cut into a tag here. I have a long skinny one. Lots of coffee dyed paper. A uh, glassine bag, and I did the same with the decoupaging of the tracing paper. And this is just a little pocket with some lace, and I got this idea from Beth Wallen. She does this on a lot of hers, and I thought it was cute. And it just has another journal card inside the bag. This is uh, a large envelope from the kit, and another altered paper clip. The other side of the envelope and I just have a little banner here and a little journal card. This is a pocket as well and this is just another tag with just some paper head lying around in my stash. This has more journaling cards and another little tag in this pocket and I have, I don't know if you'll see it because it's red on red, but this is um glitter paper that I used a snowflake stamp on or snowflake punch on and it's just a little Santa image as well <clears throat> um, some chiffon that I did the sewn ruffle with another pocket with a little banner and another Santa image and a large journaling card Uh, belly band and this is from the kit behind it is another journaling card a large pocket and there's some Christmas ephemera on both sides here uh, this is another envelope 
and I used this image from Ephemera's Vintage Gardens Days of December kit. And it's just a little tuck spot with some little bits of ephemera. And on this side is another journaling card and another tag. Uh, this is just a large <clears throat> red envelope that I have sewn some sorry silk on. And it's empty, but she can use it to store some goodies. Another <clears throat> altered paper clip, and it just has some lace and some cheesecloth. One of the Christmas tickets from Tsunami Rose. And these are just some little holly leaves that I punched out. This is a large envelope with some music sheet and lace. Um, I didn't have any Christmas music sheet, but I found this one that is called Green. And so I thought that was kind of fitting for red and green for Christmas. Uh, the other side of that envelope with a tag and Christmas image. I used some of my Do Not Open Till December 25th washi tape. Uh, that was from Target's Dollar Spot last season. And this side here is just this Santa image that I fussy cut and inked and it is a little tuck spot. Uh, another <clears throat> glassine bag. It's been decoupaged and sewn some lace and a little flower and there's just some tags in it and one behind it that's been stamped. And this here is another pocket with some more tags. I just did a little bow and I hand colored this flower. They're normally white um, with some of my alcohol markers. So I wanted it to be red. Some more sorry silk ruffles and another pocket with some more journal cards. And this here is December 25th, Christmas Day. She can do some journaling on that. And it just has some cheesecloth behind it. Um, and all of the sewing tails, <clears throat> excuse me, have been left on. So it's, you know, that fun, messy look. If she don't like that, Amelia, you can, of course, snip them all off. Uh, and then <clears throat> this one here has some more tags behind the belly band and another tag behind the sewn image here and this is another flip out uh, with one of those treat bags that has some tags in it and this is all journaling with some stamping uh, another belly band with some tags and side of it. And then it folds this way for another pocket with some more Christmas ephemera and such. And then <clears throat> more journaling. And on this here, I used one of the garment pins and I added a little jingle bell. And this is a little rusted metal snowflake with some twine on it and I got these uh, at Hobby Lobby at the end of the season so I added those to this as well and more journaling cards in that pocket and lastly is another belly band with some more tags and journaling cards all stuffed in there and this is also a pocket as well back here. So Amelia, this is your Christmas journal. I hope you enjoy it. Um, I had a lot of fun making it for you, so thank you so much. And thank you all for watching. I hope you have a great day. Bye guys.